Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my mom Margie here. Hi. She is also a reseller on Poshmark. I'm gonna have both of our Poshmark closets linked down below, um, but we both went garage selling today at a couple of different neighborhood garage sales. And so we wanted to show you guys what we picked up, um, a few things for ourselves, and then a, a bunch of stuff to list on Poshmark. So if you would like to see this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you're notified every time that I post a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So I went to just one neighborhood grad sale. I did go to a second one, but did not find anything at that location. So all of mine is from one neighborhood and my cost of goods averaged out to be $1.96 per item. So I take the total amount that I spent today at grad sales and divide it by the number of items I purchased, which gets me that average cost of goods. And that's what I will use as my cost of goods. Mom, what was your cost of goods? Mine was a dollar sixty-one per and item. And I think I got four. No, I got sixteen items. I think um, two items for myself that are, um, are hard goods that I don't have with me right now. Do you know about how many items you got? I got eighteen. Awesome. So we're gonna start off with shoes and accessories first. I'm gonna go ahead and let my mom start off. Okay, I got this Vera Bradley. New with tags. Woo! It's a computer carrying case. And I got it because I love the color and the fact that it's Vera Bradley. I just discovered the tags. Um, and I paid $5 for it. And you're keeping it for yourself. And right? I'm keeping it for myself, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then the next items I got are these Madewell's shoes that yeah. have the ankle wrap. Yeah, so we'll wrap all the way up the either the leg or the ankle. We'll have to pull a stock photo and see, but at least up to the ankle. Uh -huh. And they're a size eight and a half, hardly worn. And I love the color on there. And I like Madewell. That'd be a cute spring shoe. Yes. Another cute spring sandal is these coach and four. I love the, the label up here. color on the strapping and I like the small wedge. And those are eight and a half too. They're right? also eight and a half, yes. Awesome. And then I got a London Fog little carrying case. We think it may be for like a camera or a water bottle, something like that. If you guys know, here, let me pull it up to the camera a little bit more. If you guys know what this may, um, may be for carrying, make sure and comment down below and let us know. Um, so we were kind of unsure. It does have a pretty long crossbody strap. And I got it because I love small bags. Awesome. Okay. And I forgot. Oh. My shoes were $3 a pair. Mm -hmm. And the bag was a dollar. Awesome. So we'll also tell you what we actually paid. Um, if we know that. Um, I think a few of us got. Or a few of the items we got. We got in like a bunch. As like a deal. So we'll try to tell you what we paid for those actual items, but again, keep in mind, we do an average cost of goods for garage sale days. So I picked up these um, brown, almost burnished looking um, heels. They have a really cute tie up here. I'm gonna show you the inside. They are Freebird by Steven. They do have some wear on the bottom, just some normal wear and just some kind of scratches, but I am going to take the um, Doc Martin Wonder Balsam uh, to it and um, shine them up. And this is the Brooke style, and these are a seven. 
um, comps I think are around $100 for these. So um, they had them marked at five, but in a group of items, um, I got a discounted price for all of them. So I did pay a little bit less for these. I also picked up, I'm just going to show one, um, this pair of Uggs and these are, um, I believe they're called the Kensington two boot. They are leather and sheepskin. Um, these are a size, I believe a size seven. Yeah. Size seven. These are in excellent condition. They don't have, um, hardly any wear to them. Show inside. And they do have some fur inside. Yeah. Um, so these they had marked at 10, but then she told me she would give them to me for five. And then again, I got an even disc more discounted um, price. There weren't a whole lot of these listed. The ones that were listed were new. And then there's only a few sold, but um, the last sold for 145 and 125. So I'm hoping to get around that 125 $100 mark, just depending upon when I list them because they are that more winter boot. <clears throat> then I picked up this pair of reef sandals. I have heard this brand. I don't know if they do really well, but I thought the um, thong um, strap and then the detail of different blue colors and embellishment on it was really cute. These are a size 10. I originally picked them up for myself. Um, because they were in really good condition, but I tried them on and I didn't really like them, but I'm, I'm not sure on comps on these, but they were only listed or only marked for a dollar. And then my last pair of shoes are these Doc Martin kind of, um, kind of ankle high top kind of sneakers. They are more modern, um, Doc Martin, but these don't have like hardly anywhere at all to them. They have this like contrasting color inside. Um, these I believe are seven as well. Um, when I looked up comps, they were around 50. These are a nine. Um, they were around $50 or so. Um, but these are in excellent shape. They don't have any wear to like the leather up here or anything like that. So I'm excited to see how well those will do. So now we're going to move on to clothes. We're going to do two and two. I'll show two items and then my mom will show two items. Um, so this was also in the, um, kind of bundle of stuff I got a deal on. It, um, is kind of this blue purple berry pattern with this really cute white lace, long sleeve. And in the back, it has a button for, um, closure, a big keyhole. And then it also, uh, I thought it was split somewhere. Oh, it splits in the front. That's where it splits at. So right here it'll kind of split um this was tag somewhat coming off but free people and it's a size medium and i thought this was really cute um i know it's long sleeve but it is very lightweight they have that marked at five again i got it for less than that and then i also picked up this um g dress. I normally don't pick up this brand, but I thought it was just kind of bold enough to pick up. Um, it's kind of a really short dress, semi see-through and just has a lot of different patterns on it. It's about a, um, half sleeve at length and then kind of like that balloon sleeve as well with some ruffles at the end. And I did also pick this up because it was a plus size. It's a two X and I paid, I think $3 for this. Okay, my first item is Avenue. It's a size 20 to 24. Red has the black inserts, a little ruching in the front, and a V-neck. And I love the color. So I'm keeping this for myself <laughs> and I paid $1 for it. My next item is a ladies Columbia jacket. 
I like this really fluffy fleece. Yes, it's like fleece and it's got a stretchy insert on the side. It's a size small and I paid $2 for it. I think it's kind of like a cobalt blue or a royal blue color. And the stretchy um, size she's talking about is more like a navy blue. So along with the um, pairs of shoes, like I said, I got at one sale a lot of stuff and they just gave me a bigger discount or I asked um, if they'd take a certain amount and they did. I got two pairs of American Eagle jeans. These are not the most recent American Eagle tag, but still pretty um, current. I think I haven't looked at the tag to see the date. Um, these were a dollar each, but like I said, I did get a deal. These are the Artist Crop. They're kind of a medium wash. And these are a size six. They're in really good condition, so I wanted to go ahead and pick those up. And then this pair of American Eagle jeans, again, not the more current tag, but definitely a recent one. These are called the A-Line, and they're a four long. And I really like them because of the pocket design on the front. And the leg is a bit of a flare, and I know that's kind of coming back, um, bootleg flare all of that. Um, and these are a bit of a lighter wash. So, um, like I said, a dollar, but again, I got them for a little bit cheaper than that. My next item is Torrid and it's a size zero, which I think is like a large in Torrid sizing. And it stripes, uh, and then at the bottom, it has a band and little gathering. And I paid a dollar for it. And my next item is another Torrid. It's a size two, which is a 2X. And it's a top. Move it over this way. There we go. There we go. So it's kind of like a baby doll style top. And I think it's what a black and it's a, with floral print. Yeah. Yeah. And it's high low. Mm -hmm. See? Uh, and it buttons. Like buttons up? Yeah, it buttons up. And I thought it was really cute. It's an older style. And I paid a dollar for it. Yeah. I mean, it may be an older style, but I think the floral pattern's really in, obviously, for spring. So I think it'll. It'll do pretty well. We got another guest joining us, Little Bear's joining us. He, I don't know if you heard him whining in the background, but he'll probably make an appearance or two. All right, so I also found quite a few Torrid items, the first being this pair of denim jean shorts. There wasn't anything crazy special about them um, other than they were plus size. They're in really good condition. They are a size 20, which is a good size. Um, I think she originally had five on these, but then at this sale as well, I grabbed a bunch of stuff and um, asked her if she would take less, so she did. So keep in mind the cost of goods was averaged out, but um, I have had a few pair of Torrid shorts and tons of just all different brands of shorts sell here in the last week or two, so I wanted to pick up a pair of those. And then I found this Kashyyyk top, and it's like a major V-neck. I think, because uh, Chic is like intimates and sleepwear, so I think this is supposed to be a little sleepwear top, but I'm going to list it as a regular top just because I feel like it would be really cute um, with like maybe a like a bralette or something. Um, this is a size 26, 28, so again, a really good size, and I think they only had a dollar or 50 cents on this. My next item I got is a dress and it's prana and it's a size small I'd say it's probably like midi length <laughs> and there's the back it's got a little crisscross design, a kind of almost razorback design razorback, on it. Yeah. 
And this color is like a light purple and then orange. And I thought it was a very spring, summery color. I just love the color. It's and like I paid a athleisure too. Yeah. And I paid two dollars for it. What size was it? It's a size small. Awesome. And then my next item. Uh, says mighty fine is the label. It's a two X, but I got it because it's tie dye, it's crop, and it says NASA. And I thought it was really, really cute. Yeah, it's kind of a blue, kind of like a, a blue um, bleach dye, yeah. kind of tie dye. And I paid a dollar for it. Awesome. That'll be cute. So to continue with the Torrid items, I picked up this. It's a size 2 or 2X. It is this little white um, spaghetti strap dress. Um, kind of short length, but um, thought for spring and summer, white. Um, I did check it over and make sure there was no stains. I think she had two on this. And then I picked up this Torrid, also size two. It's a midi length, um, kind of ivory cream colored lace, um, elastic waist skirt. And I think she had, I think two on this as well. My next items, it's just free balloon, but I got it for the design. It's has wolf, a wolf on there. It's an extra large and I got it for a family member and I paid 50 cents for it. Okay. And I think she got um, six in total, but we're only gonna show you two of them. Like I said, or like she said, they're, they're for family member anyway, so she won't be listing them, but. And the next one, it says the mountain and it's brown. Got wolves howling at the moon. It's also extra large. And I got a total of six t-shirts with wolves on them and I pay 50 cents each. All right, this is my last Torrid item. It is a Torrid size two. It's another dress, but this one is um, has an eye cap pattern. It's like um, pink, blue, um, and white. Spaghetti strap as well, has some ruffles on it and um, a little bit short as well. And like I said, I think she had $2 on the dresses. And my last item, I don't normally pick up anything um, camo or by this brand at least. Um, it's called Red Redhead. It's a like a camo, um, like hunting wear type brand. And I know they sell it at Bass Pro. Um, it's hooded. It is a 3X, which is one of the reasons I picked it up. And I didn't realize it till, um, till I um, got in the car, but it is new with tags as well. And I only paid a dollar for this. So I thought that was a good deal, especially with like hunting season, um, and it being a plus size men's item. My next item is a men's item, men's shirt. And it is an Armani Exchange, Ooh. size medium. It's blue with the red and white pinstripe. Little polo shirt. Yeah, little polo. Yeah. And I paid a dollar for this one. And then my last, which I think was my best find. I think it was one of my favorite of your finds too. Is the spider jacket top. Mm -hmm. It's jacket. a size large. It's actually, I think a pullover. I think it's just a quarter zip, oh, but okay. it's a pullover. I'm gonna show them that logo on the back. There's the logo, let's see if we, there we go. I like picking up Spider too. It's a good um, like uh, outerwear brand. 
and I couldn't believe it. She only charged me a dollar for it. What size was it? Large. Awesome. That's a good size too. Well, she said that was her favorite item. I don't know. I liked a lot of the shoes that I picked up. Um, probably the Uggs are my favorite just because I love the look and the feel of them. Um, or the Real Tree because I didn't realize it was new tags and I only paid a dollar. But like I said, my average cost of goods ended up being a dollar ninety six. And we found all of these um, at grad sales this Saturday. So thank you, Mom, for joining me and doing a haul. If uh, you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one.